Hi guys, Roger, back with another video. I am an enterprise solutions architect working at AWS. Today I ask you guys one question. What differentiates a real enterprise architect from a pen and paper architect? The answer is knowledge of security. All enterprise solutions have to be secure. So one fine day, you started studying security and then you come across all these terms such as client-side encryption, server-side encryption, KMS, master key, data key, etc. Let's demystify all of those in this video. Let's start from beginning. So you have this super sensitive file which has people's name and credit card and you want to store it in some AWS storage. For example, S3. Let's look at high level flow of encryption. So you have this plain text data and you have this key. Using this key, you run some kind of encryption algorithm and you encrypt the data. Now the question is, who will do this? Very generally speaking, you can do this in two ways. A, client side encryption, where the client for example, your application, which is running in EC2, maintains the keys, encrypts the data, and sends the encrypted file into AWS storage, and then it gets stored. Second option is server-side encryption. You send this plain text data securely using HTTPS to, say, AWS storage, and the data gets encrypted in the AWS storage. Note that there are two states of security, when data is in transit and when data is at rest. In this video, we are going to talk about security in rest. Remember the encryption key we used to encrypt the plain text file to the cipher file? This key is really like a house key. If you lose the key, you are in trouble. So in case you manage the key yourself, the keys need to be rotated periodically. So even if the key gets compromised, it reduces the duration and possibility of abuse. Number two, you have to make it harder to obtain the key for intruders. So let's dive deep on this point. So encrypt the key itself with another key. And if you want, you can encrypt this key with another key and that key with another key. You got the idea. This is also known as envelope encryption. But eventually, one key must remain in plain text so you can decrypt the keys and your data. This top level plain text key encryption key is known as the master key. And this master key has to be stored in a super secure place. So if we go back to managing the key ourselves, you also have to track and log your keys usage so that you can detect anomaly. So you can see where you manage your key yourselves, it could be quite intense. And you probably want to focus on business logic and not managing your keys and rotating and all that stuff. So with managed AWS service, AWS can do the heavy lifting. This managed AWS service is known as KMS or key management system. AWS KMS is a managed service that makes it easy for you to create and control the encryption keys used to encrypt your data. The customer master keys that you create in AWS KMS are protected by hardware security modules or HSMs. So what are some of the features of KMS? It is fully managed. You control access to your encrypted data by defining permissions to use keys while AWS KMS enforces your permissions and handles the durability and physical security of your keys. It is a centralized key management. AWS KMS presents a single control point to manage keys and define policies consistently across integrated AWS services and your own applications. You can easily create, import, rotate, delete, and manage permissions on keys from the AWS Management Console or by using the AWS SDK or CLI. Integration with other AWS service. 
AWS KMS is integrated with AWS services to simplify using your keys to encrypt data across your AWS workloads. KMS logs all use of keys to AWS CloudTrail to give you an independent view of who accessed your encrypted data, including AWS services using them on your behalf. And it is secure and compliant. AWS KMS have been certified under multiple compliance schemes to simplify your own compliance obligations. So let's get back to our super secret file. You encrypted the data with a key. This key is known as data key because, well, you encrypted some data with it. Then we used envelope encryption where your plain text data key is turned into an encrypted data key using a customer master key. AWS KMS helps you to protect your master keys by storing and managing them securely. Master keys stored in AWS KMS known as customer master keys or CMKs. They never leave the AWS KMS validated hardware security modules unencrypted. Do not get confused between customer master key and customer managed keys. When we say CMK, we always mean customer master key. This CMK or customer master key can be, wait for it, AWS managed or customer managed. You will hear this term customer managed CMK, basically which means customer managed custom master key. So what are some differences between AWS managed CMK and customer managed CMK? AWS managed CMKs are identified by the name AWS slash name of the service. Customer managed CMK can be given any name. AWS managed CMKs are AWS generated. This one's customer created. AWS managed CMKs cannot be deleted. Customer managed CMKs can be deleted, enabled, and disabled. AWS managed CMK cannot be baked into custom roles. Customer managed CMKs can be baked into custom roles. AWS managed CMKs are rotated once every three years automatically. Customer managed CMKs are rotated once a year automatically or on demand manually. Don't worry, we are gonna see these points in action when we go to the demo. Okay, enough theory, let's jump into action. Okay, we type in KMS to go into the KMS console. Here we go, key management service. So on the left, you can see AWS managed keys and customer managed keys. Remember AWS managed keys, the name always starts with AWS slash service name. So here you go, these are all the default keys and see there is no way for me to delete anything right so if i click it there is no option software so let's go back to customer manage keys and then we click this create key okay uh we can give any name so we are gonna say kms s3 demo key okay if we click advanced options uh, the key material origin could be KMS, external, or cloud HSM. So for this cloud HSM custom key store, I need to generate a cloud HSM cluster. I'm just gonna keep it as KMS for this demo and click next. Okay, not giving any tags. So key admin. So define key administrative permissions. So basically who can, um, administer this key through KMS APIs. So I'll give that access to maybe developer Tina and then allow key administrator to delete this key. Click next. Define key usage permission. So here it says select the IAM users and roles that can use the CMK to encrypt and decrypt data with the AWS KMS API. See, this is where you can say which role and which IAM users can use this to encrypt and decrypt data. So let's say we are gonna give this access to developer Tina as well. And if we want, we can give this to a role as well. So we click next and it shows you the key policy. If I scroll down, it says allow use of the key, allow basically this role and this developer Tina IAM user and they could do encrypt, decrypt, and some other operations. Okay, let's click finish. 
So what I'm gonna do is upload a file into a S3 bucket, uh, both encrypted and unencrypted, and then I will try to access it from both developer Bob and developer Tina and see what happens. Okay, so we have this uh, S3 bucket, KMS S3 demo. I am logged in as the root user and uh, I'm gonna upload a file to this bucket. Okay, click next. Okay, click next. Encryption. Um, so for the first test, I'm gonna click the encryption as none. Click next, click upload. Now let me log in as developer Bob and see if he can access it. Okay, we are logged in as developer Bob, uh, who does not have access to the KMS key. Now go into the S3 bucket. Remember this file is not encrypted by any KMS. So let's click this, let's click open. Okay, so we can read the file. Uh, let's click download and the file is downloaded. Okay, now let's encrypt this file uh, with the KMS key. Okay, we are back to the root account. Click this file, click properties, click encryption, click AWS KMS, and we are gonna select the key KMS S3 demo key. Click save. Now I'm gonna go back to developer Bob and see if he still can access it. Okay, we are back to developer Bob. This is the file. Now let's try to click open. Nope, access denied. Let's see if we can download it. Access denied. Why? Because developer Bob does not have access to the KMS key that we created. Now let's log in as developer Tina, who we gave access to for the KMS key encrypt and decrypt and see if she can access the file. Okay, we are logged in as developer Tina, uh, who has access to the KMS. Let's click this. Click open, here we go, she can open the file. How about download? Let's click download, she can also download the file. Okay guys, so you guys see how using customer managed CMK, you can give access to encrypt and decrypt to certain users and certain roles. Okay, now that the demo is done, let's delete our KMS key. Remember for customer managed CMK, we said you can delete it. So if I select this, key action, schedule key deletion. So you have to wait seven days um, before you can delete the KMS key. Confirm, schedule deletion. Now that you have seen how a customer managed CMK can be backed into a role using encrypt and decrypt policy, how do you use it in a real life project? So let's say you have a project team A and project team B. Project team A has a customer managed CMK with the name CMK-A and project team B has the customer managed CMK with name CMK-B. And this CMK-A is backed into the EC2 role for the project team A for with the name role A. So basically, this role A can encrypt and decrypt data using CMKA. And that application is running in EC2 and writing data to S3. So only the applications running with this role A can decrypt the data from S3. And similarly, for project team B, only the role with, the, with CMKB can decrypt data from S3. So that's how you keep these two projects separate, even though they may be sharing a same AWS account. All right, guys, that is the video. If you like this video, please like the video and subscribe. More videos are coming soon. Hope this helps your AWS journey. Peace.